Well, hello there. The Fitlock Magnetic Chin Strapper. Interior is upgraded. Noise reduction upgraded. Nice and snug. This is what you want to see right here. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So today we are here to present you the brand new Rurock 4.0 Liquid Carbon Ruby. Well, hello there. Now, yes, the Rurac 4.0 has been out for some time now, almost about a year or so, but it just came out with this brand new color, ruby red. So you're gonna see that carbon fiber in it, uh, overlay with that red color, which is sick. Really, really, really cool. So a huge shout out to Rurac for uh, sending this out to me right here, man. Um, you guys know I am rocking out with my Rurock 4.0 that I got around five, six months ago, I think. Um, and that's the helmet that I've been using to motor vlog for the last few months or so. Um, so we'll get into the whole review as well because when I first initially got this helmet, I showed you guys I went over the improvements that they made from the 3.0 and I did promise you guys that we were gonna do reviews. So today we're here to present you with the Ruby and then also do a review now that I have logged in quite a few miles wearing this helmet right here um, Right before we get into that. I also do want to show you the 3.0 which I originally first started with um, This was Supposed to be the it helmet for me. Obviously, I wasn't happy with it too much But with the 4.0 they did go ahead and fix all the issues that I had to complain about this helmet right here So let's just talk about the liquid carbon ruby first. So as you can see here or carbon fiber helmet. It is really, really light. Um, obviously laid out with that red color. I went ahead and I put on this uh, shield right here. This iridescent shield, pretty cool. Um, it does come with a clear shield um, and they also did provide me with a black smoke shield here as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I'm gonna rock out with this iridescent one though because it's red, got the yellow on it kind of the way, so. I kind of do like the way my road glide here in the back has a uh, amber uh, Baja light in the front. So red, yellowish, kind of going to be matching up pretty good with this. I really do like the way this uh, ruby red looks super, super clean. So for those of you guys out there looking for a red helmet and you are looking into Rurock, this one right here. Now, real quick, the box. I really do like the way they spent a little time and they just put a little detail in the box. I know you might think it's stupid, but... It's it's cool. I don't know. It's a nice looking box. It looks like it could be a really nice display for something Now let me go ahead real quick and try this on so you guys can see There we go Nice and snug. This is what you want to see right here as you can see it's nice and plush and against my uh, cheek It's not moving anywhere There goes my GoPro in the back yeah, it's not moving anywhere. As you can see, it's not dancing around my face. It's nice and snug. Uh, the materials inside feel really, really, really nice. Nice and plush. Huge upgrade, obviously, from the 3.0. There is a pin lock right here, which we gotta put on the shield. Really, really simple to uh, install, and it goes laid out right on the inside of the shield. So I'll just kinda demonstrate it real quick. I'm not gonna put it on this one, but just to kinda give you guys an idea of how it goes. What you're gonna do is then you take a shield, and you're gonna be able to lay this flat. Yes, it will bend over. Don't worry about breaking it. It's not gonna break um, You lay it down somewhere you lay it under you put the uh, pin lock right inside and you're gonna have these grooves here on the right hand side It'll kind of lock into there and lock into place and then boop, it's like that simple So once I do this, I'll, I'll, I might do a video I guess how to put the pin lock on a, on a, on a shield just yeah Anyways, now let's talk about the 
liquid carbon that I have here. Now let's get into the into the review part of everything. Now that I've logged in some miles on this helmet, and I've used it for quite some time. Um, I gotta say, it's a huge, huge improvement from the 3.0. Now the 3.0, I was very upset with that. I gotta be honest with you guys. Uh, you guys know I'm always honest on here, and I made it very clear to Rurock that I wasn't very happy with my purchases. I bought that helmet with my hard-earned cash. Um, wasn't happy with it. I don't like the fitment. Um, the measurements weren't correct. Um, it was noisy. Uh, the cheap pads were not up to par. Um, and they went ahead with the 4.0 and they fixed all those issues. They even reached out to me. They were like, listen, we know you weren't happy with this. Here's a 4.0. Try it out. Let us know what you think. I tried it out and I was happy with it. Now, the improvements that we are gonna see with this helmet, yes, is gonna be a lot, a lot quieter than the 3.0. 3.0 is really loud. This one, you're gonna see at least half of that noise, I'll say, to be honest, half of that noise is gonna be gone. It's not gonna be as noisy. But, is it the most quietest helmet on the market? No, it's not the most quietest helmet on the market. If I had to compare it, I would say it would kinda be like, a Simpson when it comes to the noise. So for those of you guys who wear or have used Simpsons, noise level is kind of like the same with that. But a huge upgrade from the 3.0. Now, when it comes to the cheek pads and the interior inside, you're gonna have that nice plush material inside. It feels really, really nice against your face. It's real soft. Um, it's nice and plush as well. It's not gonna feel paper thin like the previous ones. Um, I know a lot of you guys out there who have the 2.0, 3.0, after a while those cheap pads start wearing in and they just become like little flat pillows. If you guys ever had a pillow for a long time and yeah, it's kind of like that feeling right there. Um, but with these, I, I honestly like, I don't see it happening with this one. I've used it for quite some time right now and the cheap pads are still the same so Awesome with that. So interior is upgraded. Noise reduction, upgraded. Um, when it comes to the vents, I'll show you this one right here because this one has my uh, my uh, camera in the front. But um, obviously you're gonna have those front vents right there, which you're able to access and open and close through the inside. You're gonna stick your finger up in there and either shut it up or shut it open or shut it close. Um, that wind will just come in there, cool you off. And then through it back here, you're gonna have those rear exhaust, um, letting out all that heat, um, keeping your head nice and cool. Now you're also gonna have access to that front vent on top right here, so you're able to open that or close that up right there. You got front ventilation on top, front ventilation right there in front of your mouth. Now this is DOT approved, it is ECE approved as well, so you got two high certifications on there, so that's good news. These on the corners right there, um, these are just for design, they just, they look cool, they're, they're not really uh, active. Um, to release the shield, it's super, super simple, all you gotta do is just twist these knobs, you twist this one, you twist that one, they pop out, put your shield on, super easy to change your shields, for those of you guys who you got who wanna change your shields here and there. Um, so that's really good as well. Fitment, Fitment, most importantly, has drastically been modified for the new 4.0. So obviously, go ahead, measure your head before you order any type of helmet. Um, for me, um, if you wear fitted hats, I'm like a size seven-ish, a little bigger than that though. My size for these helmets are a medium large, and they fit me really snug. Very, very nice. Those of you guys who have bigger heads, just, yeah, go up, get a bigger size. Now, another thing that I really like about these helmets is that they also do come with a cutout for you guys who want to hear any type of music or use any type of devices on the road. So you're able to just put those speakers in there. There's Velcro inside as well. There's Velcro uh, towards the front as well. So once you mic up, um, and your communicator is real easy to go ahead and put that inside a velcro right to the front the mic and then your uh, your speakers velcro right onto the sides of the helmet as well so real easy to install that another thing that I do like about this is the fitlock magnetic chin strap right here so this literally just sticks on to the other side right there keep you in and it, it, it doesn't come off anywhere and it's so simple because to take off you just pull the strap and it comes off but if you were to tug in the helmet it would not come off at all um, just a different way to put a strap on you're also gonna have a nice chin curtain right here 
which feels really nice, it's good, it protects you, stopping a lot of that wind from going inside. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering right now, do you really like the 4.0? I really do. I'm happy with the improvements that they did from the 3.0 to this one. Um, and it's it's crazy, I, and I you gotta kinda give Ruvok uh, some props because they only been around making motorcycle helmets for the past five years or so, four to five years. And within that time, they, they've sped up the process so much with every new helmet every year they're coming out from the 1, the 2.0, 3.0, and at the 4.0. And every year, they listen to the customers and they fix the things that are wrong. So, I mean, you you got to give it to a company who actually sits down, listens, and fixes the issues for their customers. Now, with only four to five years on the market, and now you are competing with other big, huge companies who have been making helmets for the past 40, 50, 60 years, who knows? Um, it's, um, I mean, it's pretty impressive. It's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty impressive, the amount of work that they've done in such a short amount of time. So, a lot goes into designing these helmets for safety, for looks. I mean, you gotta be honest. And like I said, when I first got, the reason why I bought the 3.0 before was because I thought it was probably the coolest, baddest looking helmet on the market. It's such a good, looking helmet it looks really really good it just looks mean and it's it's awesome and i mean they have tons of designs that you can pick from they're constantly doing different things which is a plus i really can't wait to see what is going to happen with later models coming out pretty sure the 5.0 one day will be great who knows when that's going to be one thing that i wish the next model should be better in is is still i think they should still work on Trying to reduce that noise level, like I said, it, it has been a huge improvement, but it could be a lot better. Um, and right now, that is only my my one complaint, is that it's still a bit noisy. Um, besides that, fitment's great. They look awesome. Um, there's a ton of accessories that Ruhrock has to offer on the website as well. It's pin locks, different color shields, different designs. There is also their uh, Bluetooth connectivity, which you could uh, take apart back here. This top comes off connect everything in there and allow you and give you Bluetooth access. And yeah, man, if you guys are in the market and looking for a new helmet, get a 4.0. And if you guys have a 1.0, 3.0, 2.0, whatever it is, and you do want to upgrade and you, you're still on the fence about ordering one of these, trust me, everything you're upset about is fixed with this one right here. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it. Um, hopefully, I can bring you another video, a follow-up video to this, let's say a year from now and see how the helmets are still holding up. But until then, you can uh, watch the rest of my content. There's roguelet content, there's low rider S content, there's group rides and upgrades and laughs and a lot of stuff on this channel and the other reviews. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button, it's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.